guys. So today I want to talk about uh, about this thing in JavaScript called debounce. So what is a debounce? Well, debounce functions are do not get invoked immediately. They wait for a pause over a configurable configurable amount of time, which which you said, and then they get executed. And if the same method is called again while the previous was being executed, then the previous event is cancelled and the timer restarts again. So, for example, um, I have a button, right? Uh, I'll call this my button. Click me. And I have this button. Does it, it, it does nothing at uh, right now? If I click on this, it does nothing, right? So, if I do document dot element by ID my button add event listener and I do click I do control dot log clicked right so I create that click uh, Create the console and I have a button with this ID my button I add an event listener called the click event listener I click it and whatever is here I want it to be executed right but I, I want to do the same thing like this I want to do the same thing but I want to ha have a debounce method over here right So maybe I, I need to have a debounce method over here. Doesn't do anything. I can probably like control this out, right? So I have a debounce method here. It should say console dot log. I don't know. Click. And remember, I said it should have a configurable amount of time. Function debounce is not defined. What happens now? So it doesn't do anything, right? Uh, how about I simply do, I want to return all the arguments, whatever they are. And then I can just do, okay, so this debounce, debounce method accepts a callback and a wait, uh, and a wait duration. Uh, the callback is of type function while the wait is number, right? So I can do something like this, set timeout. Just execute the callback with all the arguments that you get. And then the wait should be whatever the user says. So here the wait is two milliseconds, right? So if I click this, one, two, clear. Now, debounce methods do not execute when invoke, invoked. They wait for a pause over a configura configurable time before executing. This part we've already achieved. This part we still need to do. If the same method is called again, the previous is canceled and the timer restarts, right? So how do we do that? Uh, we can use an example for closure. Um, so I can say let timer ID, I'll, I can set this to undefined at the moment. And then I'll, I'll just assign this timer ID is equal to this. And then I'll say, clear timeout whatever this timer id is right so if i were to go here and i were to click on this like i don't know i clicked on this like a million times but only one event will get consoled out isn't this cool so previously um we had this function called we just simply had a cl click event listener and Every time I clicked, it was immediately clicking all of these, like it was ex executing all of these click events. I want to do that. I, I only want to click as many times as I want, but I want to execute this function, whatever is inside this function after two seconds. And if I click again, the previous event should be 
cancelled out and restarted. So only one one needs to show up. Uh, examples for this: you have an e-commerce website, uh, and you have a shopping cart. You add a bunch of things in, into your shopping cart, and then you click on the purchase button. While uh, and as soon as you click on the purchase uh, button, uh, so while the pay your payment is being processed on, on the server side, you click on the purchase button again. Now, should the user like make you should should you be built like twice? No, it shouldn't be that way. You should only build like once with with all of that stuff that was in your uh, in your shopping cart. For this, uh, like an example would be to use the bounce a method, like. As to how many times the user would uh, would click on the sh the purchase button, only the last event would get exe executed, and the previous would get um, ignored. Like, and another example would be you have this search bar on your website, and you're typing, and with every keystroke, you're supposed to make an API request on, on the backend. Well, you can't like do that with uh, with uh, on every keystroke, but usually uh, when someone is typing, they're typing at a certain speed, so maybe you can like wait. 400 milliseconds, 300 milliseconds before the user like completes his uh, his or her's entire search query, and then an API request is made. For that, you can also use a debounce method. It's pretty straightforward. Um, this is this is it. This is the only debounce method that you will need, and that's pretty much it. Have a good day, guys.